You will not bring your ghetto here. You will not bring your ghetto here. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea and for today's video, you know, I'm just going to be a hater for a few minutes and I hope y'all can bear with me and enjoy. Um, I made a similar video, I think last year, I'll link it below. Um, and as you're going to see, my hatred for these people, my disdain, my dislike for these people is valid and understandable and so I hope y'all aren't in the comment section talking about, oh you're wrong for this because no. No, I'm right. This is my channel. I'm right. You cannot disagree with me. I'm sorry. It, it, it just is how it is. Like, you know, like you really cannot disagree with the black woman. Like, beside the point, irrelevant. Let's just jump right into the video. And I hope you guys enjoy. Um, First things first, we have the baby. Nasty, grimy ass nigga. Yeah. Yeah. So, little background. I fell into the, you know, the baby love train when he was starting to pop out. And everybody was like, oh, he cute. Although he's short, he cute, he cute, he cute. And I was like, I let the internet fool me. I really let the internet fool me. But I'm a better person now, okay? I want y'all to know I'm a better person now. And I don't, I'm not being fooled by the internet no more, okay? After the baby, I was like, never again, never again. Um, so I was like, okay, he kind of cute. I see it. I see it. But then he started being like aggressive, aggressive, hitting women and shit. Like just a few weeks ago, not even a few weeks ago. Like, like last week, this nigga had so much money in his hands and he only gave $4 to those little boys. All because they were trying to hustle him. Huh? Just say you broke. Just say that all that shit that you have is on the bank. It, all of it is on the bank like it's not even your money if we're being honest because you couldn't even spare two hundred dollars each and give it to them all that money he was carrying around i think that would have been like i don't know like i don't know 5k you couldn't spare four hundred dollars to give to those little boys and he's the type of nigga to be like yeah i just want my community to do better i'm doing all of this for my community so we can grow fuck you yeah, let's start there. And the whole shit that he did with Meg, the way he was trying to play Meg, the way he was victim blamey and all that shit, mm -mm, that don't fly with me. That do not fly with me. And I hope he chokes. There's that. See? I'm valid. Like, my hatred for the baby is valid. It's warranted. Next, we have Chrissy Teigen, annoying ass. Oh my goodness. First of all, I don't know why I thought this woman was biracial. Oh, Oh, I thought she was like half black. I think it might have been the proximity to John Legend and how she's always in black people business. You know, she's always in black people business and I do not like that. I do not like that. She's always in people's business. First of all, you're a millionaire. Why are you in other people's business? You got kids. Why are you in other people's business? You got little babies. They need the most care right now. But you're on Twitter just adding the president adding the Trump all day, adding Republicans all day. First of all, those are your cousins. You're not even different from them. So like, it's just a little party for them. I don't know why they put on a show for the, you know, the rest of the masses, but we do not give a fuck. The rest of the masses do not give a fuck. Y'all are millionaires, billionaires, fighting with each other while the rest of us barely making it out alive. I hate Chrissy Teigen. And the shit that she was talking, she was doing, she called, I don't know if she called a little kid a cunt or she said that she was annoying or something. I don't know. There's whole articles written about um, this little girl that she was calling out on her Twitter and all that stuff. Oh, just sick. I'll post some, some um, articles here or whatever that happened. I do not like people that have time to hate on little children. The whole hating little kids personality trait is ugly, it's disgusting, and y'all are gross, y'all are weird, like it literally does not make any sense how you can hate children, at all. But Chrissy Teigen, I do not like her ass, she is so annoying, she is so annoying, I literally blocked her. Like once I saw like more than five tweets of her, I was just like, this woman is too much for me, 
She's annoying. She's not even funny. She's not even funny. That's the thing. She's not even funny. I don't know who her demographic is. Actually, I do know. It's white, you know, liberal people. That ain't my people. That ain't for me. No, I do not. Her demographic and her, no. And by association, John Legend and this bitch too. Trash. Because why are you married to her? You're co-signing to whatever she's saying. I'm sorry. Whoever you marry, all you know the little saying of your friends around you are the reflection of you? Yeah, that's jaw legend to me. Because why are you with her? Oh, no. No, everything that she says, everything that she do, how annoying she is, you must like it. Because at the end of the day, you're married to her. You've got two children with her. So that's why you in here. Plus his songs, I mean his songs, they're okay. I mean there's cues sometimes, but they, the fact that she, he's singing them for Chrissy just makes it a bit worse. So that's why John Legend in here too. I do not like his ass by association. Who knows, maybe in a few years it might change, you know, maybe when they get divorced. But right now, no. We got Mick Mill's grimy ass. No, no, I just do not like that nigga. I just, there's something about him. I don't have like a pinpoint situation. I just do not like his ass. And he's the same type of nigga to be like, yeah, I'm gonna give it back to my community. But he doesn't. But he doesn't. Um, I don't know. It's just something about him and the way that Twitter clowns him. I don't know. I don't really have a specific thing. There's just something about him I do not like. And the fact that he had that picture of him at the swimming pool with french fries in his, in his thighs... Mm, it gave me it gave me sickle vibes so no not for me not for me and the next one that we have jay-z 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 oh it's not bad enough that he's a, a capitalist billionaire we finna leave my sister beyonce out of this okay okay my sister beyonce not touching this list we'll never touch this list okay that's my sister that's my sister okay she will never touch this list. She is a capitalistic billionaire. Okay, I understand. I understand. But she's not like the others. Okay? She's not like the others. Don't get it twisted. Okay? Do not get it twisted. That's my sister. I'm gonna ride for her. I'm gonna hide her once the war starts. Okay? That's my sister. Okay? But Jay-Z's ass? Oh, goner. 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 Once I find my girl Beyonce, I'm hiding her and taking her nigga. Here, sacrificial lamb. Here, take this nigga. I do, no, no, I, I do not like Jay-Z's ass. And the fact that my girl be singing about that nigga. Okay, her songs about him, they're, they're kind of good. I'm not gonna lie. Her love songs, her pick me eras, my favorite. I'm sorry, my favorite. But the fact that it's about Jay-Z just does not sit right with me. It just does not sit right with me. Oh my god. Every single time she makes a reference of him. Every single time that he's on her on her songs being a feature. Oh, it does something in me that I hate. Because sometimes his features be eating. You know I move forever? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. That was good. That was good. But Jay-Z as a whole, I hate his ass. The fact that he invested in the um in the freaking NFL talking about oh we're gonna own this shit mm, still a bad thing for black people and this nigga acts like he does shit good for black people no no cause why was he endorsing an act that would make black footballers cut their locks when he has his own locks. You know, it's all that performative bullshit that these black um, billionaires be putting on for us. Thinking that, oh, wow, these niggas, um, black faces and high faces finna do something good for us. This is for the culture. No, 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 fuck you. I hope you choke. Yeah, I hope you choke. I do not like Jay-Z. And the fact that he got with um, Beyonce when she was basically still a child. Like, he was pursuing her when she was, like, uh, basically a child. Although it might have been legal, but, like, no. No, you a grown-ass nigga. You a grown-ass nigga pursuing. No, that was sick to me. That was sick to me. When I learned that shit, I was like, no, more reason. Every single time I see um, Jay-Z slander on my TL, it is my tail wagging. I love Jay-Z slander. I love it. I love it. But we will not touch Beyonce Knowles, okay? We will not touch Beyonce Knowles. We will not touch her kids either. But Jay-Z... You can go. You can go. 
I'm sorry. Okay, the next one, this is a little petty. Okay, this is a little petty. But Koi Larey, why are you here? The fact that I hate that all of a sudden, all the black people, all the black women are suddenly naming Koi Larey inspired braids. What the fuck? What do you mean, Koi Larey? No, we will not. We will not do that. We will not name hit on braids after a biracial. What are you talking about? Is she biracial? I don't know. Whatever she is, she... No, we will not name braids after a biracial. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Matter of fact, I think those braids have their own names. So why are we naming it after a biracial? It just do not sit right with me. And just the way that she moves, I just do not like it. I just do not like it. Alleged biracial, because I don't know what her mother looks like. But either way, it's still weird y'all naming it And the fact that. that you niggas are acting what was me. Oh my god, Koylare gets so much hate because she's so skinny. What the hell is skinny shaming? That is not real. Get a grip. No, do not be playing in my face like that. I just do not. Mm, no. Koylare is not for me. Who knows? Maybe in a few years I might take it back, but... Right now, I I do not like Koyla Ray. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Colorism is working extra hard for her, y'all. Okay, the next on the list, fucking French Montana. I don't know if I said this nigga in the other video, but either way, if he ain't here twice, that really means I hate that nigga. First of all, he ain't even a nigga. He don't want to be nigga. Let's start there. Just because he's like, yeah, my family's from Morocco. I'm African. Um, newsflash, only black people can be African. That's my opinion. That's what it is. It's not even an opinion. It's a fact. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, the rest of y'all are colonizers. Ooh. Anyway, um, French Montana, sicko, sicko, out here saying the N word just because you think he African. Mm, mm, that don't work like that. It does not work like that. And the fact that he still has, I was gonna say this, the fact that he still has clout and a career, it's not even that surprising because these industry niggas be protecting abusers. And they don't give a fuck if non-black say the n-word. Just sick, vile ass nigga. And I really pray on his downfall. I pray on a lot of people's downfall on this list. I really do. Because y'all are sickos. Sickos. And I pray on French Montana's downfall. Mm-hmm. Let's all make a prayer circle for some of these people on this list. Because they gots to go. They really gots to go. Okay, why y'all got um, Chrissy Teigen and John Legend twice? Oh my god, I really do not like these people. <laughs> I really have these people twice. Oh, oh, they must have done something to piss me off twice. I forgot. But either way, yep. 50 Cent. Oh my god. I do not like 50 Cent's ass. I do not like his ass. The way he treated um the person, the woman that plays Tariq's mother on power. Like, the way he just treats black women is just garbage. The shit that he be posting on Instagram very misogynoir i do not like 50 cents a lot of these older industry niggas i do not fuck with they're very misogynoir very colorist rapist abuses all that shit and i just do not fuck with it fuck with it and it's just sick and vile sick and vile is what 50 cents is and i just really pray on his downfall i really do I really do. But let's not get it twisted you know that little power anthem you know the little theme song on power I'm sorry, that was a good song. I'm sorry, that was a good song. But it's still fuck 50 Cent. It's still fuck 50 Cent. Okay, it's still fuck 50 Cent. Okay, we got Oprah. Oh, uh, one thing about me, I do not like black faces in high places. Oh, uh, because y'all really do not be doing much for us. Y'all really do not be doing shit for us. I'm sorry, and Oprah is one of them. She got all that money, all those billions that she got. But what is she doing? Is she helping poor black People in America? No. She really has the wealth. She really has the wealth to redistribute to her people. Her people. Her black people. It doesn't even have to be all black people. It could be black Americans. Okay, if y'all want to go there. It can just be black Americans that she can redistribute all that money to. But she chooses not to. Same thing for all the black billionaires. They, they have all this power and money to do shit. But don't. And that's what pisses me off. Oprah is on my hit list. Like, I do not like her. And wasn't she, like, a rapist apologist? No. No, 
Aduna, Aduna Fakuta, Aduna Fakuta. She's sick. She's a sick woman. She's a sick woman. Yes, we can discuss how she opened doors for black women, but did she really? Did she really? If you really want to talk about opening doors for black women, you can open doors. You can build houses for poor black people. Okay, you can build so many opportunities for poor black people, poor black women, but you choose not to because you're a greedy ass bitch. And I just do not like that. I just do not like that. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. I just don't like that. Ooh. Next, we got 6 9 Um, Do I really need to explain that? It's I don't I don't know if I had it in the other video. If I did, y'all, I'm sorry. I just do not like these people, okay? Um, 6 9 I don't know if I should explain more to this. He's um, a rapist. A, <laughs> he's a rapist. Says the N-word. Like, what more is there? What more is there? Like, mm, no. Sick, vile person. I pray on his downfall. Let's move on to Lil Pump. Same thing with him. Sicko. Saying the N-word. Culture vulture. Very anti-black. Oh. I just do not like him. Or 6 9 Sick-ass people. Pray on their downfall, too. Jennifer Lopez. Once again, anti-black. Um, Sicko. Steals from a black woman. Literally, her song, she stole from Ashanti. Yeah, she steals music from Ashanti and all that shit. And I just do not like Jennifer Lopez's ass. She's so like... Okay, I was gonna say she's so talentless, but her movies, they be eating. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Her movies, there's something to it. Those late 2000s, I mean, those early 2000s movies from her, they was good. I'm not gonna lie. They were good. But her as a person, her as a music career, nor, nor, and she, she does, she said the N word and then she, people were called her out on her, on it, and then she stopped saying it, but I'm pretty sure she, I'm uh, not black say the N word, we know this, but I do not like her, and doesn't she, like, low-key tries to act like she's a light-skinned black woman, like, but racial black, I do not like that. No, no, I do not like her ass, okay? Tyler Perry, once again, black faces in high places. Nasty ass nigga. Nasty ass nigga. The way he portrays black women, especially dark skinned black women, is so sick. It's so sick. He literally built his empire on being misogynoir. He built his empire on being anti black. And it's sick as fuck. And when the war starts, let me stop talking about the war. <laughs> He's gonna be the first one to go right after Jay-Z. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, Tyler Perry is so sick. It is so, so sick, the shit that he does to black women, especially dark skinned black women. And I just, hopefully he's gonna pay. Cause, oh my goodness. So sick. And the shit that he be doing to everybody else's wigs while Madea's wig is laid. Is and like Madea's wig is like 2000, it looks like a $2,000 wig while everybody else's look like Party City. Oh, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. And that's sick. And I just, I pray on Tyler Perry's downfall. I hope his empire crumbles. Because that shit really do not be doing shit for black people. Because he's like, yeah, I open doors for black people. But how come you're the writer? How come you write all your shit? You wrote, what did he say? He wrote 19 scripts or some shit? And he doesn't even pay his, um, he hates that his writers unionize, right? I think that's what I heard. He he doesn't like the fact he doesn't like the fact to give money to other black people. So that's why he's a he writes all the fucking scripts and that's why they're shit. But I digress. I really pray on Tyler Perry's downfall. Thank you. Camila Cabello, do I really need to say it? Do I really need to say it? Like she was very she was very anti black towards Normani. I don't know if there's more to say. She was very anti black towards Normani. She was um she says the N word. She just, I, there's something about that girl. The anti-black stuff is already there. There's just something about her and her vibe I just do not like. And yeah, it is anti-black that I just don't like. Yeah. But there's also something on top of that, you know? Like something on top of the anti-blackness that I just do not like. And yeah, I put on um, Camila Cabello's downfall. Because she's just trash. Trash. I just know. No, there's something something off about that girl, you know? Billie Eilish, I know she's popular. I know the blackies love her for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, her music was cute here and there. Like, you know, if you're feeling depressed. But just overall, why is your favorite show The Boondocks? I just started watching it 
And this is a show only for black people. I'm sorry. You are not black laughing at Uncle Ruckus for what? You are not black laughing at whatever the frick is happening on the, on the boondocks for what? What is there to laugh about in the boondocks as a non-black? This is not relatable to you. This is, you're not the demographic. You're not the target demographic for this show. Why are you watching it? Why are you entertained? Is anti-blackness funny to you? It is, right? Anti-blackness, non-black people love anti-blackness. I mean, they created it, right? But, no, the fact that, and the fact that I forgot Cindy is the character. Y'all, I be messing up names, okay? But Cindy is a white girl in the boondocks. She has a heavy black accent. And she just tries to be black. Um, and before y'all say, how you try to act like a color, babe? Get on with the conversation now. It's 2021. That whole how do you act the color, it was 2012. We debunked that whole shit. Okay, do not be coming up in my comments, okay? But, yeah. Why is your favorite um, character in the Bulldogs, Cindy? And we've caught, they've caught, um, they've caught Billy on live trying to speak in a black accent and all that shit. And her whole aesthetic is literally bitten off black American culture. The whole baggy clothes, the way that she walks, the long nails, da -da -da -da, all from black American culture, black culture. It's sick and vile and I do not fuck with that. Mm, pray on her downfall. Okay, I don't know if I had Iggy Azalea in the other video, but if I did, that shows you I really do not like this girl. Okay, I do not like her. The fact that she had the, um, the um, runaway slave master lyric, sicko, no. First of all, you're already anti-black. Why does she sound like that? You're from Australia. White people in Australia do not sound the way that you sound. Where is your Australian accent? Where's your white Australian accent? Get back to that. Get back to that. Stop biting off of black American culture. It's sick and vile. Stop biting off of black culture. What are you doing? No, what are you doing? And then she had this new song come out and people are like, people are not gonna like this. And then... And then she's like, what? What are they going to like? That I'm in a blonde wig or some shit like that? I don't know what she said. But it was it was not correlating to what we would not like. Because she was literally acting like she was black. Oh, it was sick. It was vile. And I just do not like Iggy Azalea. She's, no. The way she tries to minimize the criticism. It's not even, it's not even criticism. Because criticism, you say that shit when you want better for other people. No, I just want her to be deplatformed. I want your career gone. I want your career gone. I want Iggy Azalea's career gone. I don't care if you were 16 walking in with Louboutins. No, I don't give a fuck. You should have stayed in Australia. I don't care. Kevin Hart grimy ass. Oh, I do not like the short ass nigga. Okay, he, oh. Oh, he's very misogynoir. Rapist apologist, isn't he? A lot of these people are rapist apologists. Like, if I didn't even mention it, nine times out of ten. They most likely are rapist apologists. Okay, that's just how the industry works. Um, but yeah, Kevin Hart, ugly ass, very misogynoir. Did I say that already? Anti-black. I just do not like his ass. He was never funny. Okay, he was funny when we were, you know, kids. Didn't understand the joke. Didn't understand the atmosphere that we lived in. But as you get older and you're still a Kevin Hart stan, I don't even know if that shit exists. Actually, there is. They're called black men. But I'm not a black man. Um, so therefore, I'm not even in his demographic, okay? But if you're a Kevin Hart stan in 2021, I don't know if prayer is even enough for you. I honestly do not think prayer is enough for you. Um, but yeah, let's, let's rework that. Because you cannot be a Kevin Hart stan in 2021. It just does not exist. It's, it's sick. It's sick. Um, the last person is P. Diddy. Um, same thing. Black faces and high faces. Same thing with Jay-Z. Um, same thing with Oprah. Um, Tyler Perry. I just do not like his ass. He doesn't even pay his artists. Nasty nigga. Oh, like, isn't he, like, friends with, like, Jennifer Lopez and shit like that? Mm. Mm. Why are you friends with an anti-black bitch? Oh, it's already an L. Um, I just do not like his ass. But Quincy, though, Quincy's cute. Quincy's cute. But I just do not like P. Diddy's ass. Um, yeah, redistribute your wealth. All these people redistribute your wealth to black people. To show that you're, you know, you, you're deserving of not being hated by me. Hated by me. You know? 
redistribute your wealth. Thank you to black people. Thank you. Um, but yeah, that's all the hatred I have in this 30 minutes, I think. Um, if you guys enjoyed my video, you know, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you agree with me. Comment down below celebrities you do not like. And you know, let's bond over that. Um, what else? Make sure you subscribe because I really would love to hit 500 subscribers before this year ends. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time, hopefully. Bye.